Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are in the data center because I, I got a question and uh, I'm not sure it's it's a good question I did a video some time ago where I took a RAID 5 with uh, three hard drives I have them right here three small hard drives these are 73 gigabyte hard drives and at the time the question or the the task was to extend the drive take like these 73 gigabytes and replace them I put in uh, 1200 gigabytes instead of each of these so uh, a large extension of the of the operating system drive and that worked great no issues whatsoever so I got another question how to make a backup of a RAID 5 um, and one of the possibilities would be well we actively replaced all of these so data should be on them because I did it one drive at a time I took one 73 gigabyte out and I put one um, 1.2 terabyte in and then I replaced the next one and the next one and then it was done so I have three drives here where the data should be on but will it be possible to put them back in if so I have a backup here but um, yeah all sorts of things could have gone wrong um, in this theory because every time I replaced a drive the other drives has changed so the system might not well the rate controller might say no blotchy way I'm gonna do that there is inconsistent data and stuffity stuff and um, it will probably be right but I think it's worth a try anyway now that we do have the drives laying around and yeah I did get the question so um, if, is that possible it's I have no idea but um, I think we should have a try I just uh, booted the server so that we can see that the operating system works on the three drives over here it is this server it's the awesome IBM slash Lenovo X3650 model 4 so the first three drives here are the ones that we are booting on right now number two which is number three is very busy I have no idea so um, yeah that's the server that we're gonna be messing around with and it has a really nice rate controller on that but we're not really gonna be using the operating system here so I'll just shut that down again uh, 74 days uh, to go on my trial so power that down shut down reason on plan no no I have been planning this <laughs> so yeah shutting down so now server is off it's powered but it's not powered on so we'll take the drives out uh, I only put those drives in uh, to do that test um, and these are very nice 1.2 terabyte spinning drives so uh, I need security talks we have those there so I'm gonna take the trays off of these two that says 73 gigabytes because they originally came from this one and this one so uh, yeah um, they're going back I think I've said this before if you are getting a free server remember to ask if you can have the trays because very often these trays are a bit expensive If you, if you like have eight drives in the server the eight trays for the for the drives can be just as expensive as the server itself so it's it's a good idea if you're getting a free server or something ask if they have the trays very often they will have taken out the drives because there are data on the drives that they don't want you to have or be able to restore or something like that but they just took the drives out with the trays because uh, you know lazy and um, if you ask very nicely they don't really have anything to use the trays for so you can get those but you might have to do what I'm doing here and uh, 
take the drives out and yeah these trays are something like five to ten dollars each so it's uh, it's well worth it to ask I didn't need that anyway <clears throat> So these was the nice drives that was in there, 1.2 terabyte, 10,000 RPMs. They are available in my shop, <laughs> those three. And I didn't bother taking the tray of the last one, but now we have the 373 gigabyte hard drives that we're gonna try and put back. I do believe that the order of them doesn't matter, the rate controller will figure that out. Yeah, that is of course if it wanna work with these at all after they have been out and been in 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 there with other drives and there is all the possibilities in the world that this is never ever gonna work but we're gonna give it a go it's worth a shot so we're gonna power that on and it's happy it gives me a nice greeting So, but it's most likely going to be very unhappy with the drives. So we'll have to go into the rate controller and see what it thinks about it. And yes, as expected, it's very pissed that uh, something is definitely not going as planned here. So we need to go in here and load the utility. Uh, Let's see, enter configuration utility in state will result in drive configuration changes. Press Y to continue loading. Check your cables and stuff. Yeah, we will have to go in there. It's not enough to. It's not enough to just check the cables. Ah, complete. Hmm. Please exit. Okay. Sir, does the mouse work? It does not inside this tool it really does not work well with the with the thinkpad here so i have a external mouse and funny enough that works so if we connect that yep that works okay the other one will just go up and down and won't use the rest of the screen which gets really irritating really fast in the server we have the lsi server rate m 5110E. Um, that is not actually LSI's product number, it's IBM's, last Lenovo's product number. It's called something completely different if it's a real LSI controller. But we're gonna go in that way. And oh, we have some drives here. We did not get the option to import anything foreign. So that sucks. Hmm. So the seems very limited what we can do here. I was hoping that it would see it as a foreign configuration. I'll just click through these and see if there's anything we can do. I haven't found anything really promising, but if I go into drives here and it sees the drives up here can we select more than one we can only select one uh, but there's like a rebuild down here so um it sounded promising i don't i think it's gonna fail on me but we're gonna give it a go anyway and see what it's what it says failed <laughs> big surprise <laughs> What if we take one of the drives and then pick rebuild? Go. And it failed. Okay, so that's not a solution. It was worth a shot. Uh, then there is configuration wizard. That brings us nowhere. There is logical view. That's not giving us anything usable at all as there is no logical drives as it sees it right now uh, 
So I think the best the best bet is to mark the drive here and make unconfigured good. I think I think our data on there is lost. one unconfigured good oh it sees something foreign on that that's a good thing so we'll do the same thing with the next one make unconfigured good there go boom and we have another one this one do the same thing make on configure good go there we have three disks with foreign configurations I have if I go to controller selection here and I start over it will ask me what to do with the foreign configurations. Big issue though is that it sees three foreign configurations. Do you want to import? Uh, well, that's the only choice we have. So uh, let's preview. I think it's going to fail. Hmm. Rebuild online. Yeah, it's not looking good. Not in portable. Eh. Failed. Failed. Yeah. Okay. It seems that we were almost there, but the rate controller is not able to do it. Uh, this is not totally unexpected. Yeah, this is not at all totally unexpected. I was expecting something like this because um, whenever I, in the last video, took out a drive and put in a new drive, it was rebuilding uh, that new drive in there, but time passed so that array has another timestamp or whatever and data might have changed so i would think that if we had a piece of software like you guys over at linux you probably have some good tools that can take three drives and and fix whatever is on there linux is usually very good at that this hardware controller does not have that option of doing that and you would kind of have to have the system look at the drives and figure out which is the newest day turn which is just the same and stuff like that so yeah um, hardware rate controllers will not do this and it's not really a fault or uh, because they're bad it's because they're not made to do that they're meant for secure and safe operation and putting in an old drive like this that doesn't match it knows that something is wrong with the data and therefore it's not going to help us we would have to figure out the data for it and then it would work fine again so it was so close it's a bit sad i would have liked to see this just working because it would have been a very nice way to make a a backup of a raid 5 or a raid 6 or something like that so yeah can't win them all and as always even though we failed we learned something and you now know that this is not the way to make a backup of a raid 5 the old drives can't be imported again um there is the option that if we had done this without the operating system actually running if i had gone into the bias for example and then replaced all the drives maybe then it would work just because that nothing would be changing on the disks but 
I wouldn't put my hopes up too high. I'm pretty sure the raid controller might actually give the array like a serial number or something and then the three drives would also be foreign configuration to each other. Um, if there was a nice way to just tell each of these configurations that they were part of the same configuration, it might do it. Please give this video a like, we did learn something and uh, we will probably have to do something like make an image of the operating system and then put it in on some new drives. But if you wouldn't mind telling me in the comments below how you would back up a, uh, a RAID 5 in a fast safe way and maybe even something that is free. That would be awesome. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.